Knowing how to operate a fire extinguisher is extremely important and could help protect your assets and your family's lives during an emergency. It's important to understand the different parts of a fire extinguisher. This is the body or cylinder, which contains the extinguishing agent. Here we have the nozzle for directing the agent towards the fire. And finally, the pressure gauge to indicate the level of pressure inside the extinguisher. P stands for pull the pin. Start by pulling the pin located on the extinguisher's handle. This pin keeps the handle from being accidentally pressed. A stands for aim at the base of the fire. Point the nozzle at the base of the flames, not at the top, to attack the source of the fire. S stands for squeeze the handle. Firmly squeeze the handle to release the extinguishing agent. Keep a firm grip on the extinguisher while doing this. S stands for sweep from side to side. Sweep the nozzle from side to side across the base of the fire. This sweeping motion helps cover a larger area and ensures the fire is fully extinguished. Now watch as I demonstrate these steps on a controlled fire. In a real fire emergency, make sure you always prioritise your safety and evacuate if necessary. First, pull the pin and unlock the handle. Next, aim the nozzle at the base of the fire and squeeze the handle to release the extinguishing agent. And finally, sweep the nozzle from side to side until you have extinguished the flames. Your safety is always the most important thing when choosing to operate a fire extinguisher. So make sure you position yourself a safe distance away from the fire, but close enough to be able to extinguish it. Remember, fire extinguishers are designed to handle small fires. If the fire becomes too large or uncontrollable, evacuate and call Triple O. Please ensure everyone in your household knows how to operate a fire extinguisher safely and the whereabouts to locate them. Keep safe and remember your safety is the most important thing.